Okay, mathematicians, welcome back. So this week, we're going to be doing something different for our word problems. We are moving away from multiplication. You all have been doing such a great job, and the only thing that I can give you as a tip is to make sure that, again, when you are doing your work and submitting it, you show a strategy, you have a number sentence, and you write an explanation for each number set that you do. But in first grade, we not only touch on multiplication, we also want you to start thinking of all the little different things you need to do for the word problems. Focusing on comprehension and asking yourself, is there anything else that I'm missing? So for this part, or starting this week, for about two weeks, we're going to be working on multi-step problems. So that means that each problem is going to have us think, of, think really hard and double check our work to make sure we're not forgetting to do something. Because in the past, we've only had to do two things when working with word problems and our numbers. But starting this week for about two weeks, we're going to have to think, hey, wait, I'm used to only doing two things. Do I have to do a third thing? You think you're ready? Okay, so I don't know if you've heard but there's going to be a teacher parade this Friday. So a lot of the teachers from our school are going to decorate their cards and go around the neighborhood with a police escort to wave at you and to say how much we miss you and that we can't wait to see you again next year because we are always thinking of you. We are really missing you in our classrooms and we just can't wait to get back in there. Now, Mrs. Dusevich, sorry, Mrs. Dusevich and I, <laughs> are not going to be able to be there because we both have to take our babies to their checkups. But Mrs. Correa is gonna be there to represent our first grade and a whole bunch of other teachers are gonna be there. And so we're going to do two word problems this week, focusing on the parade. You ready? Okay, so let's look at the word problem part by part. And again, think to yourself, what is the problem asking me to do? And Am I forgetting anything? Ready? So let's think. Now, Miss Clark bought blank balloons for the teacher parade. Now, I'm using Miss Clark in this word problem because she is one of the people who really helped to organize the parade. And if you know her, she is such an amazing teacher. If you have her in third grade, you are so lucky. So again, Miss Clark bought blank balloons for the teacher parade and if you know miss clark she has a teacher bestie at the school mr berg mr berg bought blank balloons too hmm i'm already thinking and wondering about what the question might be without even looking i'm thinking you might already be doing that too thinking in your head wait is the problem going to ask me how many balloons and miss clark and Mr. Berg have together? Maybe. But remember what I said, starting this week, we're going to have multi-step problems. So look at the next part, ready? They still needed blank more. So Miss Chow bought them from Dollar Tree. Think, what did they still need? Balloons. So Miss Clark bought some balloons, Mr. Berg bought some balloons. They still needed some more. So who went to go get them? Miss Chow. So think about this problem, mathematicians. Miss Clark bought some balloons. Mr. Berg bought some balloons. And Miss Chow bought some balloons. Can you think in your head what the question might be? What it is that you might have to do in this word problem? Do you think you have an idea as to what the question might be? Okay, let's check your thinking, ready? How many balloons did the teachers have? So let's look at this word in particular, teachers. So it's not saying how many balloons did Ms. Clark have, how many balloons Mr. Berg had, or how many balloons Ms. Chow had, it's how many balloons did the teachers have? So how many balloons did all the teachers have? Huh. So think, 
What is the problem asking you to do? Is it just asking you to find out how many balloons Miss Clark and Mr. Berg have? No. Is it just asking you to find out how many balloons Mr. Berg and Miss Chow had? No. It's asking you to find out how many balloons did the teachers have. So all of the teachers in this problem. So we have to actually put all the numbers together in this problem. And there are lots of different ways that I'm sure you're going to do it. But let's look at the first problem set that I have for you. And let's insert our numbers in there, ready? So for the first problem, if you're doing it, it's going to be Miss Clark bought 15 balloons for the teacher parade. Mr. Berg bought 10 balloons too. They still needed two more, so Miss Chow bought them from Dollar Tree. So how many balloons did the teachers have? Hmm. Let's see if we can do that first problem set in our notebook. So like always, we're going to put our number set in the corner. You should all be doing this in your assignment as well. So it's three numbers this week, 15, 10, and two. Hmm. 15, 10, and two. Sometimes I like to put the numbers a little bit bigger so it can kind of give me some ideas. It can inspire me as to what strategies I might wanna do. And I think at the top of my head, even though it would be easy to understand this problem with the picture, I think I wanna to try to solve this problem by using friendly numbers because I see two friendly numbers already in this number set, a 10 and a two. And I'm wondering if I can make this 15 even friendlier. Ready? So I'm gonna do that by breaking apart the 15 into 10 and five. Wait, look mathematicians, I have two tens and that's a number fact for me in first grade. I know if I put two tens together, that makes 20. Oh, wait, and 20 and five more, so easy for me. 25. Wait, wait, I'm forgetting to add that two in, so I'm gonna add that. 25 and two more, that would lead to what? 27. So wait, let's check my thinking. I have my number set, I have a strategy. I kind of have a number sentence, but I'm gonna make it even um, more specific to include all the numbers from up here, ready? So I got 27 by adding 15 and 10 and two together. I'm still missing something though to get full credit and that is my explanation. So I'm gonna put that right here at the bottom. Ready? So first I broke apart the 15 into 10 and five. Then I put the two tens together to get 20. I added five to 20. I know that looks a little bit like an S and got 25. Last, I added the two and got my total of 27. Did you see how specific my explanation is? Don't forget that when you do your assignments, your explanations have to be just as specific. And if you're someone who's struggling with that, that's okay. Do what you can, but remember to do your own work. We really want to see your own effort. Even if it's wrong, even if your answer is a little bit off, we value your own effort for whatever it is. So don't forget to watch the next video because again, this week is a little different. We're going to be doing two unpacking videos and two different types of word problems.
Now before I let you go, we're going to look at the other three number sets for this problem. If you're doing the second number set, it's going to be Miss S. Oh, no, wait. This is a preview of the other problem, sorry. We're still on this one. So Miss Clark bought for the second number set 15 balloons for the teacher parade. Mr. Berg bought 15 balloons too. They still needed five more, so Miss Chow bought them from Dollar Tree. The third problem set would say Miss Clark bought 15 balloons for the teacher parade. Mr. Berg bought 20 balloons too. They still needed 10 more, so Miss Chow went to get them from Dollar Tree. And then the last problem set, it would be Miss Clark bought 15 balloons. Mr. Berg bought 25 balloons too. And they still needed 20 more, so Miss Chow went to go get them from Dollar Tree. Now, again, this week is a little bit different. I'm going to ask you to choose at least two problems from these number sets. And then on the next one, you're going to choose two problem sets. So you're going to be turning in at least four problems in total. But I do encourage you to try and do all of them because the more practice you get, the better mathematician you're going to become. Okay? I can't wait to work with you again soon. Bye-bye.